Hey, we're back here at EALA, and I am joined by Carl Magnus Trotzen. You're the executive producer for Battlefield Bad Company 2. How you doing, sir? Really good today, thank you. Uh, now, you guys are showing off some of the multiplayer here. Uh, give us a little quick rundown of, of what you guys have changed with the multiplayer since the first Bad Company. Well, I mean, we wanted a multiplayer experience that really was a key part of what the game was. Multiplayer is what built the franchise from the beginning. It's, it's what Battlefield's all about. It's what it's all about. And we really want to push that so people understand that they should play the multiplayer, <laughs> not, not only play the single player. Um, so we have done a lot of different things, like with the destruction, we've added larger scale destruction and micro destruction, as we like to call it. But also gone through the whole game and polished on a lot of those small things that people commented on before. So. Um, like the spotting system is redone, we got kiss customization now, and uh, parachutes are in. I know a lot of people wanted that. I did do a little parachuting in at the beginning of that scenario there, and then was immediately shot to death. Uh, so well, it happens. That's the battlefield <laughs> experience for certain. <laughs> One of the big things I noticed here is uh, some some persistence in the multiplayer. I talked a little bit about just uh, how that works for for Bad Company too. You're going to see more weapons, more gadgets, more uh, skill-based unlocks. Um, and also some uh, customizations of the actual kit that makes you, uh, almost like gives you a, a perk or something like that in that direction, like a specialization. It seems like a lot of options as far as the, the sort of stuff uh, that, that you can equip your, your, your soldier with. And uh, it looks like we're only seeing a, a small fraction of that here. Can I, like, what's the scope of that going to be like? Like, what sort of, how much gear are you going to be able to have in this game? If you're one of those people that really like to customize your kit, you're not going to be disappointed. I mean, if you play Battlefield before, also you know that there's tons of stuff. I mean, if there's a weapon, we most likely have it. Uh, so it's important for us that you have a lot of choices. And it's it's not only about the sheer amount of weapons that you can choose from. It's like, you now you can choose what kind of secondary weapon you want. Do you, right. you know, do you want that gun or that revolver or whatever it is that you want? So there's a lot of choices. As far as the, the squad mechanics, mechanics go. It seems like you're, you're kind of focusing a little more on that stuff in Bad Company 2 in the multiplayer. Absolutely. Team play is something that's it's, it's very important for us. It's something that's been developing in the, in the core heart of what uh, Battlefield is about. And now uh, here in this, in this game we will want to take it one step further. And it's about easing people into uh, playing together as a squad, rewarding people for playing as a squad, making it obvious who they should play with, how they can help each other out by giving ammo, reviving each other, giving each other health and such. What's returning from the first Bad Company and, and what sort of new stuff are you talking about right now as far as gameplay modes? Today what we're playing here is Rush. Uh, it used to be called Gold Rush, but it's not gold anymore, so we just call it Rush now. <laughs> Uh, they got all the gold. They got it. It's gone. <laughs> now it's something else. Uh, but it's still objective-based. You need to rush the base, uh, the bases, and take them consecutively, and then you can move on to the next one, so to say. Um, we're also going to ship with Conquest. That I think most people that know about Battlefield knows what that's about. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and then uh, we have some other things that we're not going to talk about today. But, uh, E3, of course, that's uh, coming up soon. Exactly. Can you talk a little bit about uh, the, the role that vehicles are going to play in the multiplayer in Bad Company 2? We have these large-scale maps, the sandbox like we like to call it, uh, with a rock, paper, scissor um, the design between everything. And vehicles is a key part of that. So there's going to be a lot of new vehicles, new introductions of more um, speedy vehicles, like quad bikes and these kind of uh, very hasty vehicles, a bit unconventional vehicles. Uh, but we also have some other really cool heavy ones, like the uh, the uh, the, um, the Black Hawk helicopter, right. the Apache helicopter, and uh, yeah. I gotta say the the quads handle crazy. Yes, it's, it feels a little insane to be riding that into battle. Now, so far as as far as the environments that you've shown for for Bad Company Two, it's, it's been a lot of snow, a lot of cold environments. Now, is that uh, going to be persistent through through all the different maps here? Is that something that is kind of being informed by the single player? Like like what's where are we going to see these maps take place? Yeah, we're, not, we're not announcing everything there now, but I can promise you that there will be variation, because variation is something that is important for Bad Company 2. Um, we felt in BC1 that we didn't really have enough variation between the different levels, both in single player and in multiplayer. So it's something we're trying to remedy now, and it's uh, definitely going to show. So um, if you stay tuned for E3, I think we're going to have something different for you there. Can you give us a hint of what we can expect to see at E3? Because obviously that's coming right around the corner. At E3, we're going to continue focusing on multiplayer, and we're going to really drive that home so everyone understands how great this game is to play with together with your friends and in team play and, and such. Um, and we'll see where we start talking about uh, single player a little bit further ahead. Can't wait, sir. Thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you.